Okay, so I'm back with another episode, and I've done a bit of stuff. So, first of all, I dug out all of the iron, uh, nothing else, and then I just kind of dug up a bunch of cobblestone and built this bridge around, because I figured this would be boring to watch, like, an hour or so of me just doing that. It was all just building and getting cobblestone anyways. I'm not even sure if the hours including getting the cobblestone. I mean, not much happened. Uh, actually, one thing happened, and my island set on fire. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put a screenshot here or not. Or something, I don't know. But either way, I, I probably won't, but... A tree set on fire here. I'm just going to describe it to you. So a tree that was like right here set on fire from this lava. And that's why I've decided to extend my island a bit. And as you may have saw, seen earlier, underneath there somewhere uh, is actually... You have to head back here. Uh, that's the advantage of having the bridges. Okay. Right there where my cursor is, there's a chest. And I'm not sure what's in it. Hopefully food, if you can't tell. I'm assuming, or at least, I'm just going to assume and follow this, that I'm not going to be allowed to jump off the island just for food. I only got about this much iron ore, and then there's still some up there, which I didn't really finish off. So, let me just grab this bucket. Put this in here grab this and because I want to get all the dirt out first and so that's kind of my plan tag up some trees too so not much just really grinding stuff was all I did uh, let me just grab this lava just so I can have a free bucket grab it and let's just place it somewhere randomish uh, what if I were to put it here? Okay, that should just go right off the edge where it is, so let's start doing this. I just need the bucket of water. So, let's quickly get this. Hopefully I didn't do too much off camera. I don't consider it much, Mostly considering the boringness of it all. I'm going to put this away just in case if I... Actually, the bucket isn't that important. Sorry, I'm used to Skyblock where the bucket is more precious than here. But even then, I want to save my iron. I'm just going to make myself a little platform so that I don't die. I'm going to drown. Okay, made it out safely. I think I have to break this chest because it's underneath bedrock. So let's just make a small little platformy area here just so that I get it all. Now I'm just curious as to what's in here. Oh, I see. 12 string. That is that enough to... I just messed this up, but is that enough to... I think so. Yeah, that's enough to make a bed. That makes sense. I was, I was just very curious as to what was down here. Not too much, but it was worth it. Now, I want to make a small platform here. I'm not actually going to use it as my base for all of this. I'm just going to have it so that none of the... Actually, it doesn't matter if any of the dirt falls. Let's just keep some here. Just do... To the fact that I want a bit of ground left by the time I've gotten most of the dirt out. I mean things. I mean things are precious here, just not as precious as let's say sky block, because things there are very precious. As in, you don't want a single thing falling ever. I mean, one thing gone, and you could lose a single item, and then things can be messed up. Here is a is slightly more forgiving. I mean, it's not really easy or anything, but it is still pretty good. And then I'm gonna need... Uh, not that. I'm just thinking in my head because I'm going to build a shovel. I need to say that now. Just 
because it may seem slightly random what I'm doing if I don't explain it. I'm also going to make myself a bed. Okay, let's just... I don't have a place for it now, so let's just put this here, put this here, and then go to bed. Hopefully I don't fall off the edge when I wake up. I mean, that would suck, but I'm awake now and that didn't happen, so hooray for me. I want to keep the dirt here, the, well not the dirt, I want to keep at least one piece of grass here, just in case if I want to move grass anywhere from the center. I understand that there's also some over there, on the dirt pillar, but it is farther away from everything around it, and it's kind of more secluded, because I have a plan for this, I do genuinely have a plan. But sometimes it's difficult to do anything. It's kind of hard to explain what I'm planning in words. Because it's more of an image in my head. With a bit of a plan, of course. Well, more of a technical plan, but yeah. Okay, there we go. And we're going to break this afterwards, the platform underneath. Actually, no, let's, let's not do that. There's, there's no real point in it, because I'm going to fill this blank space in anyways. So let's do that. There we go. Looks slightly more neat. Yeah. That looks good enough. So let's head over here, grab ourselves a bit of cobblestone. Just a bit. I don't want to waste any. And... There we go! And I shouldn't replace that one dirt block because it has grass on it. I just want grass to be able to spread from the center. And there we go, I'm also going to need to remake my cobblestone genera generator elsewhere. I actually really want at least three diamonds so I can get one piece of obsidian. And that may sound pretty random, but you'll see later on why I'm saying that. So let's go like here, and mm -hmm. put this here, one, two, one, two. I'm trying to explain this as neatly as possible, because I, I seriously just don't like things looking too ugly. And that's one of the reasons why I did all of this bridging off camera, because I wanted it to look nice. I didn't want it to just be some dumb one-by-one one bridge. And, yeah, so that's pretty much the reason why I did it the way that I did. I just figured I'd skip over a random building. Hmm. Let's get this more around here. And there we go! Now we have a bit more space, you know, some breathing room. I wanted to expand it on camera, and that's why it wasn't expanded before. I can understand about all of these bridges, but it's more interesting with the risk of me possibly falling off than me just building bridges, because that's boring. Let's face that much. Face the music, it's boring. Okay, there we go. I'm just setting up this so that when I shift click it goes into one of these stacks. There we go, move that there. Here, here, and then general stuff can go over here. So, there we go. I also got a bit of clay just from digging through the clay thing just so we can, well, I can walk through those. Got a bit of this, that single cookie, got my water bucket. Um, oh, here I already have an axe. There we go. Gonna grab these and move them around. And this here. Throw an arrow in here. Make another one. There we go. That is a pretty nice setup. 
I have no food left. Okay, recorder just stop. Gonna continue, anyways. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna need to restart up my whole cobblestone generator. Just because it might be inconvenient without it. So let me try to think. Where should I put it? Should I just put it up here? Should I, I'm trying to think. I'm genuinely just trying to think at the second. Let me. Th I'm saying that way too much, but it's it's true. Because when I'm thinking, it's sometimes hard to talk. And when it's hard to talk, it doesn't get as interesting as it should. I'm pretty sure I still have some more of these half bricky things in here. Yeah, I have like 39. So, let me see. Where's a good spot? First, let's get the water. Oh, I already have it. Grab this. Put it over here. And then go grab our lava. Lava is more precious than water at the moment. I'm just trying to think where I'd get more water. I'm not sure if there's a nether in here. I'm going to have to check on that. I'm assuming with all of this obsidian. So let me see. Where's a good spot but that I won't run into? I'm probably just going to need to build it off here and I can always move it in future. This is going to annoy me that it's on a half slab thing. You know, only halfway up the normal amount, but gonna have to deal with that. Hmm. One, two. One, two. Okay, move like here. What did I just? You, you guys saw that, right? I'm, I'm not insane. I just had some stuff disappear from my hand. I could call that a mag- Oh, it just reappeared again. Ta-da! Magical disappearing cobblestone. Definitely on purpose. And let's move this here, grab this, put it somewhere here. Oh, I, g I guess I need to move that somewhere last, so let's just dump this here. Yeah, that's good. And grab this, put this here. Oh, that that's actually off. <laughs> We're gonna move this, like, here instead. Let's see if this works. It should. It does! That's good. Let me see. Okay, that works. Let's go with that. That's good for now. Now we have a new cobblestone generator all set up. Ready to go. I found that during the video last time, the clicking noise actually makes more noise than you think. Which is a bit annoying, but I, I don't want to get in Imagine if there's such a thing as, like, a silent mouse, like, for your computer. Just the most silent thing ever. That'd be an odd product to sell, because unless you're doing something like this, it wouldn't really matter. Now, I'm trying to think about what I should do after... Th oh, yeah, I should probably get a garden, considering my food situation. As in, I don't have any food. I'm gonna need some skeletons... Soonish. Soonish, yeah. Okay, so what what would be a good addition to all of my stuff? I'm going to take a second and look at the challenge list and I'll be back. Okay, so I've decided to continue doing this whole dirt thing. Where's dirt? Let me, let me quickly check something. Okay, good. I did keep the grass intact. For a second, I was scared. Oh, this is where I get the secondary water thing. Oh, I don't have to head to the nether for that. I'm so relieved. I was scared for a second that I'd have to actually get diamonds or something. So let's just grab a bucket. <laughs> so yeah, lots of people wind up turning that into obsidian for whatever reason. Whenever they try to make one, I don't understand. So let's... 
me see I need my bucket and I'm gonna go get an infinite water source which will be cool and I've realized I've spent most of this episode just building that one area which is a bit bad because we only have like five minutes left now I like to do things in between episodes just because lots of stuff here I know for a fact we'll wind up getting repetitive, and I don't want this to be a repetitive series. Now one of the things is like, don't let the villagers die or fall. Uh, the one over there actually fell a bit, so I had to do that. So, uh, I'm not I'm not gonna finish that one, I'm just gonna try to finish all that I can. Oh hey villager, 64 upset, that actually can be useful. Now, 64 charcoal, 64... Oh, that's actually pretty good. What can I get... What can I use emeralds for? Now, by trade with all villagers, does that mean trade all you can with them? Or... What does that mean? <laughs> I mean, I, I genuinely do not know. So, let me think about this... I wish they just had small houses around them already, because it's hard not to let them fall. Okay, so I want to see what emeralds give me, because it's a bit confusing. Because if I can get emeralds, what can I spend them on? I mean, there's not much you can do with them, really, so I'm going to figure that out. So, I was, I was actually there for a reason I forget. So, let me actually quickly take it. Let me just get to sleep now. Uh, I think I may spend the last couple minutes on this actually doing a bit of a speed run type of speed buildy thing of a mob grinder that will go right in between. I think these two would be good. Yeah, that might be good. So, I'll quickly do a mob grinder and I'll speed that up just to. Make it not boring, and I'll just be finished off the episodes when it's done. So hopefully you enjoyed this so far, and I'll s I may just say bye once I'm done. So I'll be back once I'm done building it. Bye!
so hope you enjoyed that whole speed thing that I just put together. And so yeah, uh, the machine works. And it took me a while actually. I started planting trees along here as you probably noticed. Uh, just because I figured that it might be nice to actually have a tree planted. So this is going pretty nicely, and I'll be back next episode, so have a wonderful day. Goodbye.